is Channel 5 in Memphis on the Mississippi. WMCT, the showplace of the South. We at NBC want to welcome WMCT Memphis to the NBC television family. From the news center of the Mid-South, this is Action News 5. From WMC-TV, the Mid-South's only 24-hour news channel, this is Action News 5. From WMC-TV, coverage you can count on. This is Action News 5 at 10. Action News 5 at 10 starts now. With all today's breaking news, WMC Action News 5 at 5 starts now. Television, your eyes are not deceiving you. I'm Joe Burt, welcoming you to a retro edition of WMC Action News 5 at 5 o'clock. I'm Ursula Madden. It's a homecoming, if you will, for our team that we want to share with you, the Mid-South, you who have welcomed us into your homes for nearly seven decades. We have some familiar faces and surprises to get to. But first, let's take a look back now to remember how we got here. This is Channel 5 in Memphis on the Mississippi, WMCT, the showplace of the South. That snappy station identification aired in the 1960s when just about everybody had a TV. But the call letters WMCT began to glow from screens when the entire Mid-South had only an estimated 1,400 TV sets. It was 6.30 p.m. on Saturday, December 11th, 1948. Henry Slavic, first general manager, welcomed our audience. I had to make a little speech and introduce these people. They were shaking like a leaf, of course. For the next four and a half hours, Tennessee's first TV station presented Jack Pennington and his Juniper Junction Varieties game. A game of charades between co-eds from Rhodes College and Memphis State. Slim Rhodes and his Mountaineers. A cooking demonstration and a full-length movie, The Black Doll. The TV pioneers at WMC had to create all their own local programs all live on the air. And each evening, five times a week, 6 to 6.30, unsponsored, a string music evening serenade by which people could eat their dinner, peacefully beautiful music. I was very proud of that show. Very costly. Ladies and gentlemen, we at NBC want to welcome WMCT Memphis to the NBC television family. WMC did affiliate with NBC, but in the early years, being the only station in the Mid-South, we aired programs from all the networks, NBC, ABC, CBS, and the now-defunct Dumont Television Network. WMC presented news, anchored for years by Dick Hawley. This bank clearing soared to a new all-time high so far in 1954. Dick Hawley also presented weather reports as well as commercials. Florida Melba. The Cigar Supreme. We did live commercials, weather shows. Uh, I even did some wrestling matches back in the old days. Standard Oil selected Holly to be your SO reporter. And the news was gathered by our forerunners who shot, developed, spliced, and presented film reports on train derailments, city commission meetings, and even perhaps the only surviving sound pictures with E.H. Boss Crump interviewed by a young Trent Wood. And the game starts at what time? 8 o'clock. What about tickets? Have they all been completely sold yet? Probably a few left. WMC moved to 1960 Union in 1958 and became the first Memphis station to broadcast in color. I will get you right here. In the 1960s, WMC was first to welcome African Americans to share views on a regular public affairs program, the 40% Speak. We are 12% of America, 40% of Memphis. And we have something to say. 
Airing that program prompted opponents of the civil rights movement to call in bomb threats to WMC on a regular basis. Yet WMC persevered broadcasting the program and covering the civil rights movement. Our camera recorded the speech now enshrined in American history. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on the eve of his assassination. And I've seen the promised land. Many adults now in their 50s and 60s recall visiting WMC to be in the audience for Magic Land. Host Dick Williams holds the Guinness Book of World Records mark for longest running magic show in American television history. August 16th, 1977, Action News 5 broke the story that stunned the world. Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, had died at his Graceland mansion. Elvis Presley died here about 3.30 this afternoon. We were relocated to a trailer in the parking lot as our station had burned in a June 1977 fire sparked by newspapers left atop radio scanners. Rebuilt, WMC was the first local station to present a broadcast live via satellite. Live via satellite from Washington, D.C. and live from Memphis, this is a special edition of Action News 5. With Mason Ranger. I sent this report via satellite from Beijing in 1986. Hello from Beijing, China's capital. Action News 5 was first to give you an eye in the sky, presenting news live from our own news chopper. We've embraced the digital era as the first local station with a website, WMCTV.com, and its cousins are news and weather applications that you can access on your smartphone or iPad. Our station was first with a Facebook page and first local TV station to zoom to 100,000 likes. And WMC Action News 5 has survived decades of change, both in front of and behind the camera. I'm privileged to be in the presence now of a gifted journalist who served as news anchor and reporter right here at WMC. Joining me now is a man who served on this anchor desk from 1976 to 1981. Welcome back, Roger Cooper, and share with us, with, if you will, just some thoughts of your WMC Thanks years. Thanks for having us back. It's a great event for all of us. Uh, this was my first job in television. I'd never done a TV show, uh, been on the air, done a story. And I got my start here and uh, have, have stayed with television ever since. Uh, we, I was in on the tail end of film. We had to think the time to process our film for all our stories then. Uh, we did get to cover some big stories, as you indicated, the Elvis death. And to get that helicopter shot you talked about, we had to have an intern lie on the floor of a helicopter in those days who pointed an antenna at the ground. And he got sick. Ho hovering around Graceland to do that. Incredible. We've, Roger, we've, we're so glad to have you back. We have a limited amount of time and have so many guests to get to, but so great to have you One back. One of the best places I've ever worked and the only place where you could work in the newsroom on Saturday and have men in tights come through. <laughs> Wrestlers. A reference to wrestling. Ursula, we're going to have more on that in just a moment. It can be scary sometimes, let me tell you. Well, through the years, we've been your station for the biggest stories in the Mid-South and in Mid-South history, but we've also been with you for occasions that mean the most in your life, the holidays. Digging into our archives, you might see some familiar faces celebrating the Star Spangled Celebration, a 4th of July event. This station started back in 1980. We celebrated Labor Day and rang in the new year on Beale Street. And speaking of familiar faces, Joe Birch is joined by another familiar face, former Action News 5 reporter Rod Starnes. And Rod is right here with us, an incredibly gifted reporter. When you think about your WMC years, Rod, what, do you, what comes to mind? Well, gosh, uh, there's the incredible tradition that I knew I was following when I got here and try, having to follow in some of those footsteps. But to cover all the major events and the impact that it's had on the Mid-South over the years. You know, the, the running joke when I started was you could put up a test pattern and still get 80% of the audience. And you knew you were touching a lot of lives and reaching a lot of people. And personally, I have to say, for me, it was memorable because uh, I met my future wife here. Indeed, she you did. She was the 5 o'clock producer, T. Lee Williams. We got married and had a little newsroom romance and got married. So it's, it's impacted me personally as well. Well, you've gone on to great success with Running Pony Productions, which was birthed by three of the uh, graduates, if you will, alumni of WMC, who've gone on to great success as a terrific production company. You're sort of WMC light out there on <laughs> Kirby Parkway at Poplar. Right, WMC East, sometimes yeah. we say. <laughs> Very good. Very good to have you with us. Rod Starnes, gifted journalist. Ursula? All right, thank you, guys. Uh, there is too much rich history in the WMC Action News 5 archive to include in just one newscast. So we're putting it all on WMCActionNews5.com. There 
where you'll find a special page dedicated to our history and this reunion in particular. It's been so great to have everyone here. You'll also find messages from all of the former WMC Action News Fivers who came for this reunion about what this station means to them. Joe? Well, one familiar face that only left us recently but returned for this special reunion today, Mayor Justin Hansen of Covington, Tennessee. <laughs> Justin worked his way up at our station starting as a newsroom in term and Mr. Mayor, you are now the leader of this uh, seat of Tipton County. What's it like now on the other side of our camera? Well, you know, Joe, it's such a privilege to be with you here today, and it's been such a wonderful afternoon here seeing so many folks. But I'll tell you, you know, um, it's really not a lot different being on the other side of the camera. It, there's, uh, we're customer service. It's about customer service. We're, we're problem solution oriented, much like we were at Channel 5. And uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's all about serving the public. And so really, it's not a lot different on the other side of the camera. Well, so. we've had what you can't see here in the studio quite yet is a huge crowd of our colleagues mm. and former staff members who have joined us once again today, and it really does feel like a family reunion. It's a, it's a big family here, and a lot of that family you never see here at WMC Action News 5, but a lot of folks, takes a lot of folks to get this product on the air every day. Absolutely. And it's, a, it's, a, it's been a great experience to be back here. And, and I'll never forget my years here at WMC. Well, you've done great, and we're very proud of you. So thank you very much, Mayor Justin Hansen of Covington, Tennessee. Well, some WMC Action News 5 family members we wish could have been here tonight. Former anchor, general manager Mason Granger, and his wife, former anchor Kim Hindru, are actually overseas visiting former feature uh -huh. reporter Nancy Hart. But they sent us this message for their Mid-South family. It reads, quote, when I asked Mason, this is Kim speaking here, when I asked Mason what WMC meant to him, he said, in a word, everything. He started in the mid-70s right out of graduate school, and by the time he left, he had been a photographer, reporter, anchor, news director, assistant general manager, and general manager. As a journalist, Mason always felt the broadcast should serve the community. As a general manager, he always cared more about the people who worked for him than the people he worked for. Kim Hindrew. I also said about uh, her experience here, the first thing that struck me when I started at WMC in October 1988 was that everyone worked as a team. Everyone's goal was to create the best newscast, and most days we did. It sounds simple, but everyone understood that working together would produce a better product. That's not how all newsrooms work. My favorite floor crew of all time was at WMC, and of course, my favorite news team, Mason, Joe, Dave, Jarvis, and Big Jack. Thank you for all the kindnesses you paid me. This is Kim Hindrew speaking. I wish we could be with you tonight. Love, Kim and Mason. Again, Mason and Kim catching up with Nancy Hart overseas tonight. The beauty of WMC's Action News 5's family. We are truly a family, as you can see, and we miss them tonight and wish them only the very best. Ursula? All right, Joe. Well, next in this special edition of WMC Action News 5, our reunion special, the man who was the face of weather for many, many decades here in the Mid-South, Dave Brown, returns to join us. Plus, Jarvis is going to reunite his sports team through the years with a special live appearance from their beloved team leader, Big Jack.